example of the 20% of poor people die before the age of 64. So it's very alarming that they're pushing and pushing the age of it's retirement. Like they're not trying to pay y'all at all. They're, they're, they're not trying to pay. <laughs> I'm in Paris and I'm gonna interview two random people here in Paris. Who do I have the pleasure of talking to today? Um, my name is Jimmy. I'm 17. I'm a high schooler and I'm here to protest against the retirement reform. Okay, okay, I'm gonna talk to you more. Um, my name is Tom. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> my name is Tom and I'm uh, 18 and I'm for the, here for the same reason that Jimmy. Okay, okay, so what the retirement is that like what? Um, What's this whole thing about today? Um, basically, the president and the whole government wants to raise the retirement age to 64 years old. And most people don't really want to work until 64 years old, so we're here to protest. And it's a whole other bunch of stuff. Um, basically, we're sick of it, so there are a lot of people in the streets today. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so they make you guys, if you choose to work, then you have to work until that age like or you just want money for when you retire because i don't know because yeah. it's like different in america yeah. it's like used to that like 65 is like probably like the average age for us to probably retire yeah uh, um, in, uh, in france there is a system when uh, the younger uh, uh comment on dit, uh, cotisé genre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically when you work you gather money for your retirement and comes a certain age you're allowed to get that money for your retirement yeah. Yeah. and it used to be 60 years old and it became 62 and now it's about to become 64 and french people are very prone to revolution <laughs> and we don't really want to work um, so we can work till 62 if they want but 64 yeah. is just pushing it so the, 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 the most uh, poor people uh, uh, can live uh, to 62. Yeah. Um, sorry, my English is very bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so, uh, push the retire to 64 is for us uh, uh, just dead uh, yeah, wor at work and yeah. uh, we don't want this. Uh, so <laughs> Can I ask you guys, like, what is it that, um, what is it that you guys would like want to do, like working now? Like, what what do you want to do? Like, are y'all like I'm too young, I don't know yet, or like what would you do? Like, what would you study in? And you go to college. I'm gonna be an artist. <laughs> so uh, I know, like a singer or like an artist, like painting? artist uh, drawing. I want to work in in animation. So I know in my case, in my case, I'm probably gonna like my work. So it's not really about me as it is about other people. So that's good. That's a good part. <laughs> Um, me, I, I want to work in the cinema. Uh -huh. uh, you said so, cinema? Yes. So you want to, do, you want to be an actor? Uh, no, uh, more oh. cameraman and uh, oh, okay. no. shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, uh, well, well, yeah. for people who want to make a long uh, study, yeah. uh, for, they need to work longer for cotization and uh, <laughs> Especially for like um, workers who have hard jobs and the older they get the more risk they have to just yeah. die at work yeah. and I think there was a study like something between 15 to 20 people of the 20 percent of poor people die before the age of 64 so it's very alarming that they're pushing and pushing the age of it's retirement like they're not trying to pay y'all at all they're, they're, they're not trying to pay like, no you're old we don't want you yeah. here yeah. And the thing is, they say it's for a budget and we don't have enough money for retirement and two weeks ago they put like, I don't know, 200 billion dollars in the army and it sounds like the US. <laughs> it sounds like the US! Everyone is trying to do like the US yeah. and we don't want to become like the US. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> we, we just need to uh, tax 2% uh, the most rich people in France for finance so the, the retired system. So and it would just be good. They wouldn't have to raise the age. <laughs> so, yes. All right. so I have a few questions, like off topic of this. Um, 
what are some things to do in Paris? Like, what is like? I'm a visitor. What are some must things that I should do while I'm here? Um, so I'm sure you know it, but the Louvre is uh, <laughs> the Louvre is uh, it's open most of the time, and um, I mean I have uh, weekly classes at the Louvre, and I sometimes just take time to walk around and I'm not very I'm not very much someone who likes to walk but the Louvre is amazing and the Tuileries and most places like um, Opera is really nice it's a very beautiful uh, building and you can visit it I think um, a lot of museum Musée d'Orsay is, uh, is a beautiful museum very um, a lot of light a lot of very beautiful things um, and there are a lot of parks you can take walks in um, Good restaurants too. Like <laughs> <obviously>. <laughs> um, I'm not very much knowledgeable about. No, I, I, don't, I, I don't eat, eat in restaurants. Uh, no, there is a Bouffanger in Bastille. Tea? Bouffanger. Bouffanger. What's that? Uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, restaurant uh, in uh, at Bastille. Is but, it, uh, is it expensive? It's yes, Paris. It's going to be expensive. <laughs> Yes, but then, like, I like a portion. Like last night, I went to eat with my sister. We spent like fifty five dollars on one dish a piece, and it was like small as hell. Like it did not fill us up very bad. So yeah. Maybe, so yeah. Okay, you're not America. Maybe we just fat in America. Yeah. Um, in Paris, things are expensive. Like we're we're. We're students, we eat at, at <laughs> McDonald's, we eat, uh, we go Frumpy. take sandwiches <laughs> at Frompri and it's, even there it's expensive, we really have to look for it if we want something inexpensive and uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer but everything is going to be expensive unless you really look right, for we're it. We're in a whole recession everywhere all over the world. So. <laughs> um, okay, so when you hear America, like the what what is like... The first thing that comes to your mind about Americans? No, no, no. What do you think about Americans? I don't think Amer <laughs> Americans in themselves. I don't have a problem with them, but man, the government, <laughs> like the policies, the whole healthcare system, um, the whole putting all of your money into the army, and it's just I don't know. It's I guess culturally it's cool, but it's very intimidating as a country. We're kind of scared of America and we don't really like it. <laughs> so you went and visited America? I visited it, I think, for like the whole thing, the culture, the road yeah. trips. It's good, but I wouldn't live in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is the first thing that comes to your mind about America, though? Like, what is the first thing when you hear America? What's the first thing that you like? Uh, uh, three things, name three things. Three things. Guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guns. <laughs> uh, cars. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, capitalism. <laughs> uh, guns. Basically, like, I don't know. I'm a very big fan of movies, so it's a lot of movies yeah. also that come to mind. Uh, I don't know, I've been into Top Gun recently, so Tom Cruise <laughs> comes to mind. I don't like the guy. He's fucking annoying with the whole Scientology stuff, but man, he's the only thing that comes to my mind. Uh, guns, Tom Cruise, and uh, I'd say junk food. Okay, yeah, that's important. <laughs> well, Alright, thank you guys so much for joining Just With The Press in the streets of Paris. You're